Hey guys, we're back. Hi, we're here tonight um, with red wine and we're gonna make mashed potatoes. So we're actually gonna make potato puree. Mashed potatoes, this is where I get hoity again. Mashed potatoes I make mashed potatoes. It's very make... American, yeah. potato puree is very French. These are uh, fingerling potatoes. Sometimes they call them uh, French fingerlings. Sometimes they call them Russian banana fingerlings. Um, you can find them at uh, Central Market and they're just fingerling potatoes. It, so it, they're, it, they're smaller and they taste a little bit different. If you can't get them, you can use those. So what do they call them? Yukon. Yukon gold. Yukon potatoes, yes. Thank you, Greg. Gray is our cameraman. Gray is also his son and my stepson. Salt. Um, also the cameraman. We have butter. This is pluger or European butter. It's a little bit higher fat. And this time we actually do have chives. Sometimes Carrie uh, mistakes chives for shallots, but this time they are. I don't normally put them in there, but my son, uh, Gray, the cameraman, added them and they are really magnificent. And then we have two tools that we've used before. We, we have the food mill. And, and this time you either need a food mill or you need a, uh, a ricer. You cannot do this with a food processor or a blender. That will be a disaster. A ricer? Uh, a What's ricer? a ricer? There's more if you Let's want to go show a it. ricer. Hang on. What does it well, look like? Is it that thing that looks... Oh, this. This is the potato ricer. I've used this for no gnocchi. Before so I, I have uh, filled this with water. You can use this also. I've covered these with water by about a half an inch or three quarters of an inch. Do you like the food mill better? Uh, I like the food mill better because you can put an unlimited amount of potatoes in there. You see, I'm not using a lot of potatoes. I believe that mashed potatoes is a uh, like a condiment or a. Uh, he gives you like one bite of yeah, mashed no, potatoes. No, you need like two, three tablespoons. When you see how much butter and cream oh, is I in see, it, you'll so understand. Thin. We're gonna we're gonna put these on the stove in a minute, and we're gonna boil them for about 10, 12 minutes to really soften them up. You put salt in the water? No, I didn't. We have our fingerling potatoes covered with water, and they are virtually boiling, don't you think? Virtually. Virtually. Boiling. So once they boil, we're going to want them to boil for how long? Mm. 10, 12 minutes? 10 to 12 minutes. What do you think? I think they should boil for 10 to 12 minutes. But you wait right here. Okay. Right They're not done. They're hard, aren't they? Yeah. So we want them to be soft. Usually I want things to be hard. This time you want them to be soft, so we'll come it's back. It's quarantine. We'll come back in 10 to 12 minutes. It's making me crazy. And we'll see whether they're making you happy or me happy, okay, babe? Mm. I have so a knife. let's check the potatoes. They need to be pierceable and soft. What, the way they can see. If the knife goes in and comes back out, they're soft. If it picks them up, they're not soft. Oh, well, there. Does okay. the knife pierce fully into it? See that? It dropped off. The okay. potato was soft. What did you know? We have boiled our potatoes. I'm going to grab a towel because I burn my hands and the handles. Our food mill again. You could use a ricer, but I, w I want this to drain. It's hot. I know it's hot. <laughs> so I'm going to take this pan back. I'm going to put it on the stove. And I'm gonna put some cream in it while Carrie runs the potatoes through the food mill. Uh, so I put uh, probably three quarters of a cup of cream in here. I don't know exactly how much cream I need, but I want enough for the potatoes to be in a, uh, a slurry. A what? A slurry. You know, it's a slurry. A little like a runny. Slurpee? I got it. I got it. Turn the other way for a second. So with the potatoes, you should use the spoon. Thank you, doctor. See, I don't get to assist him in surgery right now, so I get to assist him in the kitchen. You, you can still gripe at me. spilled some on the backside, but that's See okay. what I said? Okay, good. Okay. I'm going to take, uh, this is a very healthy pinch of salt, and this is a very healthy second pinch of salt. So potatoes need a fair amount of salt, and Carrie will tell me that that's not enough salt. We'll add some more later. So the cream goes in there. <laughs> You've actually made this. Stuff. I know, but I don't know what so you're doing. Go ahead and mix that up. That's how we make it every time. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I've actually done this by myself. And if it, you Shockingly. Forget. So it's a slurry now. See that? So the rest of this cream, I don't need that. Well, look look how loose it is. I, I would so say I'm, slurpy. 
This is a very fancy dish, but it's so, so good, it's worth it. So you have to run the cream and the potatoes through a strainer. So can I, can I show a trick now? I don't just stir it, watch this. So I actually use the back of the spoon, I force it through. You're spilling it on your side. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. You know, in surgery, yes, dear means yes, bitch. Okay. <laughs> it's way harder. Um, so once you push through the potatoes, it's very smooth, and you just make sure you take a spoon and scrape it. And uh, I'm gonna eat this. yeah, Gray's gonna eat that part. This is what it looks like. It's all smooth. Look at that. That is some European butter right there. And we use palouf, right? Um, That's like uh, four tablespoons, which sounds like a lot because it is, but it's okay because we're not going to eat a lot of this mashed potato. So we're just going to kind of stir this in until it melts. This is when you go out to that French restaurant for your anniversary, your 10th anniversary dinner, and they give you mashed potatoes like you can't believe this is how they make them. A little bit of work, a little bit of tools, but it's worth it. We probably make this once a week. Our stepson, Gray, who also filmed this for us. Um, and he loves to cook. And is a film, uh, film guy. He uh, came up with the most magniferous Magnificent, magnificent chives. And oh my god, look at that. It's magnificent. Here, I'm gonna do a few more. A few more. Because Gray, I feel like when Gray does, I do a few more. Carrie's obsessed with chives. Even yeah. when they're shallow, she thinks they're chives. Anyone else like ready to kill their significant other or their family? Good talk. I'm gonna have a little bite. Mm. Mm. So it's an amazing dish. Fantastic. Mm. Enjoy.